What is up, Juventus fans? Welcome back on the channel and welcome back on a post, you know, it's, it's a Monday that's post the preseason match against Barcelona, whatever have you there. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, Julian and I did a late night, um, you know, live stream to talk about the what we saw from the Barcelona match, our thoughts, got some of your thoughts shared out there. Uh, make sure you check it out if you get a chance. We'd love to have you all um, join us and checking out uh, with our live streams, especially if you can join us with the lives more often. It'd be a lot of fun. We love hanging out with you guys. Um, anyway, what do we have for the news for today? We have uh, Pjanic is very close. Where is he very close to? Is he going, is he going somewhere else? Did, did he find another lighting spot? Is that what's going on? Um, Allegri is also calm. Um, well, it's his calm and panic. Is he calm or is he panicking? We'll see. Well, let's let's uh, let's get into that before we know anything. And then we've got the Locatelli meeting. We know today could be, a, or not today, this week could be a very decisive week for the player, for the club going further. We will talk about that now. Just stick with us and we will fill you in. Ciao, ragazzi. You're in the Bianconeri Zone. My name is Justin Sofro, and today is Monday, August 9th, 2021. Got a, got a bit of news to talk about today, especially. I'm sure there's a lot of feelings after yesterday of what they're feeling for the club going forward, especially for the season. Um, but before I get into that, I won't say anything too much, too crazy off of, right off the bat. Um, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, it really helps our channel grow. We love to have you all be a part of this. So please hit that like button. It really means more than you know. I, like I said before, I never did it before. And now I realize why it's so important. So I try to like every video that I watch on YouTube because these people are pouring all their time and effort into these videos so I can support them that way. So I just ask, please do that for us as well. Um, Anyway, <laughs> let's just go ahead and we'll jump into the news that we have for you today. Um, I said it before, but if you're new here, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Um, letting us know where you're from, how you're a Juventus fan. Love to see that. I saw a couple of them already this morning. I'm about to respond to as soon as I get this video up. But I appreciate you guys for hanging out with us. Anyway, let's jump into it. I keep saying anyway and then not getting to it. But now we're actually going to get into it. Um, let's talk about story number one is Gazetto della Sport is reporting that Pjanic is coming home. And that is so good to hear. I'm so glad to hear that Pjanic is going home to Bosnia. He's going back to Bosnia. Going to play for a local club. Going to be very happy. And Oh, <clears throat> oh, that's not what's going to happen. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, Pjanic, <laughs> so it appears that Gazetto della Sport is saying that Pjanic wants Juventus and Barca are doing everything to sell him. They are open to pay part of his salary if Pjanic lowers his demands. However, a player will need to be sold first. So, so he's not going back to he's not going back to Bosnia. I thought that was maybe what was happening. No, no, he's not going to that home. He, well, he wants to come back to Turin to Juventus, um, <laughs> as we know. Uh, anyway, so that's interesting. They're willing to actually help pay part of his part uh, part of his um, salary, somewhere like what Juventus kind of has to do a lot of the time to try to get rid of somebody. Anyway, we'll see. But I love, as it stands, though, you know, got to get rid of somebody, a la Ramsey, whoever have you still. Um, and then we've got a little bit more part of that, and it's Nico Shiro is reporting saying that Pjanic is set to reduce his salary um, from eight and a half million euros to about twenty percent lower. With that, to return to Juventus, um, Juve are waiting on Barcelona's okay for a loan. So we'll see. I know Barcelona really wants to. <clears throat> excuse me, they really want to sell him. I don't know why my throat's so bad. Anyway, <laughs> maybe it's from being up late last night and hanging out. I don't know. Uh, Juve are waiting on Barcelona's okay for the loan. We'll see how that goes as it stands, because I know that um, Barcelona really wanted just to sell them. Of course, everybody wants to sell their players instead of loaning them if they can. Fortunately, that doesn't really work out a lot of the time. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll see if Pjanic ends up sticking with Juventus. I know people are making jokes. Does he actually want to go to Juventus after Barcelona? Look, you know how they looked yesterday? Yeah, he still wants to come back to Juventus. Uh, don't read too much into that match. I would just say that, personally. I'm also not... I'm also... I'll just give it, get it, go watch the live stream. Like I said last night, we gave our actual, you know, a little bit of a deeper thought into what I felt like from the match. But the one thing I'll say is there's a lot of people when it comes to um, Juventus, that very first, you know, the, not first, that third preseason match where they said, don't, um, you know, I'm gonna wait till the season to see what happens, or the real season and everything that happens. Yeah, there's a lot of things you could argue, the lineups and all that, whatever have you. They're not really probably what you're gonna see going forward. Um, they're trying stuff out, they're getting players, reps, and all that stuff. Um, so there's people that say, don't believe it until you see the season. Don't, you know, don't 
be too critical or whatever. Don't be critical at all on the, on the, on the team. And then there's other people who are saying, you know, it's a meltdown. It's all over. Where am I? I'm right down the middle. Um, I think there's problems that need to be addressed, and I see those issues. So I'm not going to pretend like everything's perfect, everything's fine. I'm not going to go put on my, um, you know, black and white pom poms and just cheerlead a team that you know I'm going to cheer for them, but I'm not going to cheerlead just saying everything's perfect, everything's great. If that makes sense, um, that's where I stand right now. I think there's a lot of work to be done, but I think also it's a preseason match and you don't have the lineup in the proper setting, and everybody just came back from vacation for the most part. <laughs> so that's what I see. Barcelona's ready to start their season. Juventus has a little bit of a way to go before they're ready to start their season. Anyway, let's move on. Talking enough about that. Like I said, go back watch the live stream from last night if you want to um, get a little bit more of Julian and my thoughts on that. Anyway, the next story of the day we have is from Tudor Sports saying that Caio Jorge is working to be ready for Juventus. He is now back in Torino at J Hotel for his 10 days of quarantine. The goal is to have him with the squad for the first game of the season. Um, that'll be solid. At least we'll have him, I guess, for that's Udinese, I believe, um, to have him back. I was really hoping that he um, would have either been ready right away, you know, to stay and didn't have to go to Bar- or go back to Brazil and all the dis- issues with that. I was really hoping that he could have quarantined and then played in a preseason match, maybe against Atalanta or what have you. Fortunately, that's not going to happen. But, you know, if he's going to be there for the first match, maybe against a, uh, I don't want to say lower level team, because, you know, we've seen what can happen with Juventus. Um, they can drop points to anybody you know, right now. At least that's where, that's where I'm approaching this from. So at this moment, I, you know, just want to, be cautiously optimistic and, um, you know, see where see what we can do from here when it comes to uh, Kyle Georgie getting him some reps and getting him playing because uh, I do want to see what he can bring and I want to see his style and all that. So we'll see going forward. Let's move on to the next story of the day. Maybe make sure it's not uh, related. <laughs> OK, before I move on too quickly. Um, sorry, I'm doing this out without my glasses. So I'm a little bit blind, but mainly it's because people sometimes it bothers them with a the glare. Um, some days I will need them today. I'm working without it, so we'll see. Anyway, uh, Tudor Sport is reporting in this next story that Locatelli, this is the Locatelli week. This is the week for it. Juventus would like to close the deal for Locatelli this week. So if we're going to get news, positive or negative, it's probably going to happen this week, guys. So stay tuned with us. Stick in. All right. Don't stick in. Uh, stick with us during this, and we will um, we'll keep you updated with everything that we have, and we'll talk, and we'll do lives, and we'll do all that good stuff. Um, basically saying that Kev Rubini prepares the new offer for a meeting this week with Carnivale, so hopefully they will, um, you know, be... I don't want to say, I guess, yeah, I guess optimistic that it'll get done and that we won't have to worry uh, or not worry, but we won't have to wait too much longer to find out what will happen with Locatelli. The one thing I will say, if you watched the match yesterday, you will, you'll see, I mean, something we've seen for the last two years, to be honest, the midfield needs help. The midfield needs work. You need to get a guy like Locatelli and please get the deal done because we need that kind of help. We need that boost in the midfield is what I'm saying. Um, We'll move on to the next story, which is uh, Max. Allegri uh, speaking to Sky Italia post um, the preseason match against Barcelona saying that um, he's just waiting on the club. He's not waiting on anybody individually saying, I'm not waiting on anyone with the management. I talk, let's see if players come in. So that's just, you know, it's just coach. It's, it's coach speak for the most part. That's all I'm going to say. It's not really, I'm not going to pretend like what he's saying right here is like something, you know, serious or like worrisome. Like, oh, no, they're not getting Locatelli. But you do have to report what they're saying um, and share what they're saying. So what he was saying to me, it's just coach speak. Every coach is going to tell you, I like my team or this is the team that I have when they don't have somebody um, signed up, ready to come in. And that's what you look at. That's how I am taking from him. Um, we'll see when Locatelli comes, Locatelli comes and then he'll go talk about him then. But Allegri is not going to, you know, talk about somebody who's not a Juventus player yet. And then we've got more comments from Max Allegri. This guy, Italia saying, um, I feel bad for the result, but the team played a good game, especially in the first half. Um, then we made many changes. Uh, we made technical mistakes. We conceded avoidable goals. The important thing is to be ready on August 22nd. So, yeah, I kind of agree with him. Um, the first half was, okay, that first goal was just abysmal. And guess what it was? It was Daniele Rugani out there again doing his piss poor defense. The one that I'm always pushing against being like, I don't need him out there. I don't need him. With you know, in my in with the defense right now, or I, I just don't need him out there. I don't need I don't need Rugatti out there. I don't think he's a, a good defender. I don't think he is um, a solid, reliable defender by any means. Um, 
that's all I can really say. That's as nice as I can be, for, to be honest. I don't want Rugani out there. I think he is um, worse than DeShilio at this point. And I am, um, you know, so for right now, I'll, I'll give him a slide because, they, they, you know, Chiellini or Bonucci could have played and we could have played seriously from the beginning. But it is what it is. They people they need to work things in. They need to get back on track. They need to get back into training, and they need to get the team uh, cohesive again. Because it's, you know you're starting over with a new coach. Um, there's a lot of new stuff coming on. You're just coming off for vacation, all that stuff. But it's just like that first goal was Rugani, and you know it's Rugani. <laughs> and that's and that's basically what I'll say. Um, the league didn't have a ton of help back there. Um, and then he says, let's see, um, technical mistakes. Yeah, yeah. In the second half, you know you're. In the second half, I'm I'm not that I throw it away, but you know what I mean. You're just working on so many other guys in in the system and just trying to get them in and get them some playing time, see what they can do individually. I'm just I'm not going to read a lot into the second half. Like I said, I've said it before. Um, there's stuff that is worrisome, but I've said it also before when it came to the Chisena and the Monza matches, where I was like, I don't put a lot of stock into preseason matches, so I just I'm going to have that same courtesy to this match where you lose, where if I didn't put a lot of stock into positives, I'm not going to put a ton of stock into negatives either. If that makes sense. That may sound like I'm fence sitting or something like that <laughs> for the most part. Anyway, that's the way I look at it. I'm not, I'm not panicked. I think there are a lot of things that need to be worked on, but I say, I say we need to calm down, but I also don't think we need to pretend that everything's fine and, and, and ignore some of the things that we saw out there. We need to um, see those things worked on, and we need to see this uh, team have some growth and development going forward. Anyway, that's all the news I really have for you today. Make sure you stick with us uh, later today. We will be having another live stream. Julian and myself will be talking um, all things you've been to say. Any news that comes out, we'll be talking. We'll be hanging out with you guys. So join in with us. That is at 1045 p.m. to rent time um do the math wherever you live <laughs> that's the time that we'll be up we do we try to do it every day regularly monday through friday um we'll do that and then we'll try to throw in some of these late night ones as well um we'll see how it goes anyway appreciate you guys tuning in make sure you please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon to stay notified for all the latest videos regarding juventus at the beyond canary zone follow beyond canary zone on twitter and instagram at beyond canary zone follow me at justin sofro also follow my boy julian Ginotti at Ginotti 151 on twitter as well forza juve forza beyond canary <laughs>